Good morning. Good morning. It is day two. We are going to Hollywood Studios today. We got boarding group for Rise of the Resistance. What an amazing experience that was to do from bed. <laughs> Instead of 5 a.m. once you walked into the park and you prayed and you followed everyone else. Mm -hmm. Although it did lack the energy and feeling of everyone going, yay, 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 yay. Whoa, yeah, I got it. Just, <laughs> but you'll get but, to experience that at 1 o'clock in the park. I'm just glad I don't have to experience it at 5 a.m. That's true. I know everyone's always curious about this. So I ran into an issue having a boarding group, but I've been running into an issue with my app this whole trip. It is what it is. Russ got a boarding group, no problem. Just, you know, the way we said, just have either refresh or hit the button right at the moment. Kind of look at the draw. Yeah, we got boarding group 30. Yeah. So pretty damn good. Pretty good. good. Um, I can't complain. Now we are headed to Hollywood Studios via car. Going through the gate, Walt Disney World. When you take the Magical Express, this is when they say, Walt Disney World is 40 square miles, which means you are about to enter the world's largest theme park. <laughs> I didn't know that, because I was sleeping. That's right. <laughs> and now you'll never know. So Catherine screwed up. She had to go to the bathroom and left me with the phone. So we're waiting. We're already in the parks, as you can see, right behind me, Mickey's Runaway Railway. Very excited. I've waited a very long time for this. Um, it opened up right as the last time we were here, but we didn't get a chance to go because we weren't able to because it wasn't actually open open yet, but it was about to be open. Um, so today's my first day. Catherine's already done it. I've never done it. I'm a huge fan of the new animated uh, Mickey series. Um, I know a lot of people aren't and well, that's just your opinion, but I absolutely love them. Um, so I'm very excited for this ride today, so let's go do this. Oh, there's one coming up. See, it's right there. Yeah. Potato land. <laughs> you excited to be here, Russ? I am so excited. Let's see if they have a pin. I need to find one. Imperial City. The streets of Alive will take sanctioned excitement at every hour of the day and night. Enjoy that night at the opera or party all night long in Kurosan. Incoming transmission from Ray. Ronto wraps. I'm excited. It's my first time trying it. Yeah. And um, we did Rise of the Resistance. So here's a closer look at the Ronto wrap real quick because I, I feel like I don't describe this well and add in anything that you think needs to be added in. So there's pork. Yeah, it looks like pork cutlet. Coleslaw. Coleslaw and then a sausage. Sausage. And a, an and a amazing pita. pita. So there you go. We'll tell you what he thinks. Like, yep. What did you think of the Ronto wrap? Oh, it's delicious. I thought you were going to ask about the popcorn that I'm slamming like a champion. No, um, the run trap was good. All the flavors, unlike the donut, and I keep going back to the donut because it's important. Okay. There's multiple flavors that are happening in the run wrap that don't fight with each other. It's They're good. individual, they don't blend together, they're in their own realm and they don't fight each other, and it's delicious. Really big though. Like, I can eat a lot of food, 
That was a full meal. It is a lot of food. Now we're waiting for frozen sing-along. What a coincidence. I feel like this trip is about the one viewer. You know who you are. It's all about you. <laughs> for once, it's all about you. Just remember that. What did you think? Of what? The first time in forever. Oh, the historians are great. Aren't they awesome? Yeah, the the the, um, the jokes are great overall, but like the, some of the adult jokes are great. It's it's fun. Um, I'll, I'll say this real quick. Disney, you're gonna sit here and say like that you're still being careful because of all the health and safety stuff, but then you're packing people in. Yeah. Like that yeah, was yeah. not cool. Not yeah. not even health and safety wise, but like once the show that. starts running, stop people up. What yeah. are you doing? Like people missed a good five minutes of the show. Yeah. They, it was about five minutes into the show they kept putting people in. Yeah, that's no. ridiculous. Get not on. okay. Now, turn you around. We are. There's Hollywood and Vine. We're gonna do some. Shopping. All right, one last trip into Magic Kingdom this time. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm gonna try to see some fireworks tonight. Yeah, I think it'll be good. Yeah, so. See how it goes. Yeah. So we decided to, since we were parked way on the boonies, to walk over to the Polynesian and take the boat to Magic Kingdom. So that's what we're gonna do. Hack? Probably not. There's a long walk either way, but at least we're walking through something interesting instead of a parking lot. Yeah, I've never seen the Polynesian before. So it works out. Yeah. Now right, we're walking out of Tomorrowland now, making our way. Probably toward wherever it is we want to watch the fireworks from, and wow, people are serious about getting their fireworks spots. We have got the goods. Yep, probably the last purchase of the trip. Now it's time for fireworks. Yeah. Here in about 45 minutes. So, we're gonna. I don't know, we're gonna try and stake out a spot. Yep. We'll see. But first, Still busy. let's look at this stuff. These window displays are awesome. Maybe Grumpy's always so grumpy because he's gonna play with his butt cheeks. Yeah. Got a sore ass. Poor thing. Oh, her eyes are very open. She's very struck. He's going in for a kiss, and her eyeballs are like, whoa. See, even he knows. He's like, your eyes are too open, my yeah, she wasn't ready. friend. She wasn't ready. Check out the lobster. Alan? No, a real lobster. Silly. That's a crab. That's a lobster. That's a lobster, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are cool. It used to be the Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom displays. Yep, but... No more. No more. Sad, sad. Very crowded still. Actually so crowded that we decided to mask up. And... Steam. Yeah. It's like dead in this corner, I think. Like. It is. The hub is like... Oh, it's jam-packed. Jam -packed. It was jam-packed like two hours ago. Yeah, so, um, I don't know. I think we're gonna try and stay over in this vicinity so that we can easily scoot out of the park because, man, are we parked way, way in the back. Oh, man, yeah, <laughs> it's a rough one. No man's land today. It really, it's a very interesting couple of days. 
it's gonna come out in a couple of videos and posts I'm sure that you're gonna be writing and stuff like that. Yeah, we'll have to sit down and have the conversation too. I think I mentioned in a different video or maybe it was this morning, I don't know, okay. um, that we're gonna probably sit down and have a coffee and chat with you guys about just some of our thoughts. Well, it's actually very interesting because, you know, obviously we're not from around here, so I used my phone for a lot of the GPS uh, driving and stuff like that. I'll have total numbers how much time we actually spent in the car traveling yeah that'll be an interesting number yeah so um, we'll put all that together for you guys yeah. as well but it's a lot today's it's parking a, is a little ridiculous yeah and so anyway so we're going to talk a little bit more about parking we're going to talk about whether or not it, w it made sense to drive and um we're going to do a numbers breakdown i'm going to pull out the credit card statement and we're going to talk about exactly how much money we spent and compare that to if we were to stay on property. That makes sense, right? You guys are interested in that. So um, stay tuned for that. That will be a video and it'll be on the website too. So, but for now. Almost have fireworks. Yeah. It's Kat and Russ from the future. Hello. So we decided not to stay at Magic Kingdom because it was so incredibly crowded and the main thing is that we were parked so very far away. Yeah, we just made the decision to actually take the ferry back across and catch the fireworks from the Polynesian itself. And that's what you're seeing right here. This is the beach from the Polynesian. So um, now that we said that, let's jump back in. It was beautiful. Enjoy. <laughs> well, we did it. That's it. We closed down our trip. At least the Disney portion of our trip. Tomorrow, we head home. Later in the day, but still, we head home tomorrow. Um, we were going to watch the fireworks from Magic Kingdom, but we decided to change last minute. Genius idea. Mostly because... Well, here's the thing. You know how we talk about meltdowns and how people can have meltdowns? Well, today was one of those days where there were a lot of things that could have caused a meltdown. It was hot. There were a lot of people. We were tired. Our feet hurt. And so we got to a point where we were like, well, what do you want to do? Do you want to sit in this crowd or do you want to... And it was a crowd. Not sit in the crowd. Um, it was quite a crowd. People are very, um, they, they don't have like any concept of space. Not and anymore. I'm not saying that, I just want to be clear, I'm not saying that because like six feet social distancing or three foot social distancing. That's not what I mean. Um, pandemic or no pandemic, people shouldn't be that close to you. Like there's, there's a certain cir circumstance where like, like, you shouldn't have to worry about someone, like, flat tiring your shoe, which happened to me this trip. Really? Yes, it did, actually. I didn't mention it because I was, like, just not going there. <laughs> but, um, someone flat tired my shoe. And, like, they didn't say sorry or anything like that, but, like, how close do you have to be walking to me to, um, like, step on my flip-flop? That's a problem. You know, like, just, and that wasn't, like, in a crowded scenario or anything like that. So... This concept of space, it didn't stick with people um, after the whole social distancing thing, which I didn't expect it to, but even more so, like it got like super duper crowded and very, very uncomfortable in my opinion. Like I said, not for health reasons, but because I don't want to be that close to anybody. I shouldn't be able to smell you <laughs> that close. That's true. I just don't think that you should be that close to people that you have to like, Again, if I were to like slow down and you were to just walk straight into me, that... And nothing was going on that required that immediate attention. It wasn't like a cavalcade was coming. No, it, it was wasn't just... The fireworks were just about to start. No, it was just like the middle of the day. Just gonna walk this so, um, So that's what happened today. And we just decided, you know, it would be better if we just... We headed back. So that's what we did. And then we watched the fireworks from 
the Polynesian, which was nice. It was great. Yeah, but it's kind of dark over here, so we'll head back up to the room and we'll finish this conversation there. We went to the Polynesian to watch the fireworks, and the thing about the Polynesian is, as you guys saw, they actually pump the music from the fireworks through the speakers of the Polynesian. Mm -hmm. So you can't see the projections on the castle, no. but you can see the fireworks and hear the music, which is really nice. Yeah, it's totally. If, if all you're looking for is fireworks, then you're all set, which is exactly what we were wanting. Other than that, we just had a really nice wrap up to the evening. Feed hurt yeah. and fireworks. Yeah. So, um, made our way back to the hotel, as you guys saw, and now we're going to take some time, um, since we're both kind of awake, uh, we're going to take some time, yeah, I know you're probably thinking like, barely, but we're both still awake, so we're going to take some time to kind of wrap things up and pack most everything else away, and then uh, tomorrow will be the last day of our vacation like the official last day of our vacation our flight leaves around like 5 45 so we have an entire day's worth of fun ahead of us we're probably gonna hit an outlet or something and um from there just do kind of a little bit of driving around yeah. nothing disney related uh well aside from the outlet but you know it takes a lot to go to Disney, so um, we didn't get passes for any of the... We didn't get passes for tomorrow, and uh, Ross doesn't have a park ticket for tomorrow, so... Nope. So we're just going to wrap up and head home. That's it. But we're going to take you along with us, and we'll um, probably start off the day talking about what we thought about the hotel, and, you know, we'll get to the rest of the conversations later. Yeah. But, yeah. I think one of the funnest things to end the night, though, was walking back to the car with everyone else trying to find their car. Oh, that was an experience. We knew where we were going, but watching and listening so to other people. So many people didn't know where they were going. What a march. That oh. is so funny. And like... And everyone's okay with it. Not everyone seemed to be no? okay with it. There were some parents <laughs> who, like, were at the end of their rope as well. But, uh... There was a little bit of yelling. It was great. And uh, there was a rogue wheelchair. Yeah. Rogue, it was like a rogue, rogue courtesy Epcot. wheelchair from Epcot. Yeah, from Epcot in the in the back of the, uh, the Magic, Magic Kingdom. Kingdom parking lot. It's gold. So um, interesting, but yeah. So it was it was good. I think it was a good it was a good day overall. We did so much today. Um, yeah, we did everything we came to do. Yeah. So I'm really happy about that. Yeah, me too. Tired. <laughs> All right. Well, wrap it up before he before he falls asleep. Thank you guys right. so much for joining us today. Yep. I hope you had as much fun as we did, um, and that your your feet don't hurt as much as ours do. Yeah, mine are toast. <laughs> but um, we're off for now. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye everyone. Bye.